Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let us start this lecture with a thought process. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. Pail is basically container, right, or something. It's not a content delivery and whatever we are doing, but that is not. But it is lighting of a fire which is lying within a, a person. <coughs> so, uh, in the last lecture, basically, we looked at the effect of the pressure on the laminar burning velocity right and uh, of course if you look at we looked at that depends on the order of reaction right uh, the pressure effect will be governed by the order of reactions but however uh, let us look at some of the experimental data which is uh, taken from the literature like uh, this is plotted here and uh, these are the burning velocity pressure atmosphere. You can see that um, most of the data are uh, you know scattered around and if you fit a curve it comes around to be S P minus 0.5. Keep in mind that this is mean for stoichiometric methane air. Temperature uh, the unburned temperature varies from 16 to 20 degrees Celsius because they will be conducting experiment in various environments. So, therefore, it will be changing and this is in the western country, so it is a low temperature. So, this uh, is uh, what it indicates, it indicates that burning velocity decreases with change in the pressure, right. And in some situation, uh, you may find that it is remaining constant, right, and some situation it may also increase, right, but uh, that is not the uh, we are discussing about it, but um, it can happen depending on the range of burning velocity or rather it will be dependent on the uh, order of the reactions, because we have seen that uh, <coughs> SL we have seen is proportional to P n by 2 divided by 2, n is the order of chemical reactions. Of course, in our analysis we have taken that as a single step chemistry, but in the multi step chemistry where you know which will mimic the actual situation order can be depend on this is uh, you know each individual reaction, but however if you look at a global sense it will be varying from um, fuel air system to other and also depend on the pressure. <coughs> It is valid only for stoichiometric methane air and also the uh, range in which it is being done. It would not be valid for all other things, right. So, uh, therefore, uh, this is a very important point. It is known as semi empirical relationship uh, because it is not generalized, it is not from theory, right, it is from experiment. And uh, people have also uh, looked at the various data and couch in the some other form, which we will be discussing uh, just now. And before that, uh, what I am thinking, we look at the effect of initial temperature on the burning velocity. If you look at uh, the burning velocity, basically S L is uh, proportional to, I have seen P n uh, minus 2 divided by 2 right and if you look at uh, the p is uh, basically uh, you can see that is uh, temperature right is proportional to the temperature p is if i take ideal gas uh, in equation p is equal to rho r u t and of course, uh, then you can think of using basically, uh, right, it will be, no, I think uh, 
So, if you look at SL, SL is uh, proportional to basically alpha right by rho u and uh, rho u uh, and also the uh, fractions right average and this is proportional to basically if you look at 1 over rho u and from the reaction rate because we know the reaction rate is proportional to basically rho n 1 plus n 2 and I can say n is equal to n 1 plus n 2. So, I can say that rho is equal to n right and uh, this is basically n n by 2. Mm, this is uh, half it will be okay, rho u square right this is half this is also will be half right because this is a square if you look at S L is equal to basically 32 by 9 alpha by rho u uh, rho u mu plus 1 m dot triple dash f right is not it. So, therefore, if you look at alpha is k g by k g by uh, rho u c p and this is uh, temperature average and this is temperature average whereas, uh, average the c p will be evaluated at uh, average temperature and k g is evaluated at average temperature. And this uh, I have as I told this is proportional to n and therefore, S l you can say this is proportional to that therefore, this will be proportional to n uh, by 2 minus 1 right. So, uh, you can say that uh, rho um, p is equal to rho r t right and uh, of course, this is uh, basically if you look at molecular weight universal gas constant molecular weight and um, I can say that uh, rho is basically inversely proportional to rho is inversely proportional to T. So, therefore, I can write down S L is uh, basically inversely proportional to T uh, sorry uh, proportional to 2 minus n divided by minus basically you will take you know minus of this uh, article minus of this. So, that is nothing but 1 minus n by 2 there 2 n by. So, uh, of course, that depends upon order of reaction, but however, uh, it is uh, uh, you know proportional to t power to the m right I can say and that is being shown here burning velocity for stoichiometric methane air pressure is 1 atmosphere pressure is remaining constant. So, you can see these are the data experimental data and this is of course, uh, numerical data which is uh, matching well uh, except these are I think little higher uh, uh, you know values which uh, may be not the right one for the experimental and that conducted by Andes and Bradley. So, uh, but however, this uh, thing happens to be quite higher values right 1.5 to 2 times and uh, which is not matching with the simplified theory what we have looked at because n the order of reaction if you look at order of reaction generally it will be uh, maybe second order or the first order the in between right kind of thing. So, then it will be very small values m will be very small, but m is quite big here. So, that is the limitation of the present model what we are doing, but however, we will have to go by the experimental data right which is the right one kind of thing. So, <coughs> now what is being done people have looked at experimental data and uh, arrived at uh, basically a, a semi empirical relation which will be taking care the effect of the initial temperature and initial pressure on the burning velocity. 
So, uh, there are several data which will be available in literature, but we will be looking at a, a very simplified version uh, of uh, burning velocity laminar correlation given by the Megalchi and Cake. Right. This uh, is uh, the relationship, I am just writing directly, but it is a semi empirical relationship. Laminar burning velocity is equal to S L R, this is the reference burning velocity T u divided by T u r power to the gamma and P by P r power to the beta power and of course, uh, there might be some dilution effect right, why dilution means in there will be some recirculation of the product gases or nitrogen being diluted and other thing the burning velocity will be affected by that. We will see little later on this effect. So, uh, if you look at uh, this S L R is uh, basically can be given as uh, B m plus B 2 phi by phi m right square. And this uh, B m different values is given here for methanol this is 36.9 to 1.1 and this B 2 is 140.51 centimeter per second and this phi is uh, basically equivalence ratio right and phi m is your this constant right which is corresponding to the uh, reference kind uh, like you know constant values phi m right which will be taken from this and this is uh, laminar burning velocity at a reference condition. What is the reference condition? Reference condition is basically uh, if you look at reference condition in this data, generally it is being taken also other, otherwise U r is 298 Kelvin and P U r is taken as 1 atmospheric pressure right that is being taken. <coughs> so, uh, if you look at uh, this uh, gamma is also a, a relationship that is gamma is 2.18 minus 0 0.8 phi minus 1 and beta is minus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.22 phi minus 1. Right. This uh, coefficient has to be taken because these are all empirical constant. Keep in mind that you will have to use proper unit. For example, B m centimeter per second, B 2 centimeter per second. Naturally, what will happen to SLR? SLR also uh, will be centimeter per second. Similarly, S L also will be uh, centimeter per second. That means, the unit has to be left hand side should be same as the right hand side and these are of course, if you look at uh, these are the same unit like uh, you are using Kelvin. So, it will be non dimensional P by P r is atmospheric that also will take care. So, this non dimensional and Y uh, d i l is basically mass fraction of diluent present in fuel air mixture uh, basically to take account of recirculation of product gases or uh, diluent addition 
right. Suppose for example, I am trying to extinguish the flame and look at what is the burning velocity, how it is decreasing, then naturally you will have to look at that way. Hmm. So, um, you might be aware that in the gas turbine engines and other things there will be lot of recirculation of product will be taking place similarly in the internal combustion engine. And recirculation is being used today as a methodology of uh, decreasing the emission level, right? Uh, particularly NOx and other things. So, therefore, uh, there might be uh, some use in application also. So, this is the thing. We'll, what uh, uh, we will be doing now, we will take an example and see how we can calculate using this data. Diluent means suppose for example, product gases, product gases means it will be carbon dioxide, maybe on if it is unburned little hydrocarbon right and um, also the um, like nitrogens and other thing. Diluent generally it will dilute the mixture right and inert gases being used and also the sometimes uh, the uh, combustion product is being also recirculated right there will be advantage of using that one is that heat which is going out can be recirculated. So, the temperature can increase in let some mixture, but it is having also bad effect the carbon dioxide is there it will act as a diluent. So, the C p value will be affecting the temperature the, uh, the temperature which will be getting. So, and as a result if you want to reduce the NOx generally the thermal NOx which is predominant. So, reduce the NOx, but you will have to pay penalty of reduction in the power level right. And for example, I want to extinguish the flame, what I will do? I will have to add something which will take the heat out, we will be discussing that little later on. Uh, so, therefore, these are being used right <coughs> as a diluent. <coughs> so, uh, we will take an example, uh, let us say that determine laminar burning velocity S L of propane air mixture with phi is equal to 1.2 for A we will be doing at uh, T is equal to 298 Kelvin and pressure is equal to 1 atmosphere pressure right. And B will be looking at T is equal to 800 Kelvin and P is equal to 1 atmosphere pressure. And C will be looking at uh, T is equal to 800 Kelvin and P is equal to 20 atmospheric pressure right. So, if you look at first one is basically reference uh, state right and second one there is a increase in temperature right 298 Kelvin to 800 Kelvin and the third both the temperature and atmospheric pressure is being uh, changing right. So, let us uh, look at uh, the solution we will be using the empirical relation of uh, cake and uh, Megalchi. So, <coughs> we will be using this empirical relationship and uh, for the first case what we will do? We will have to find out S L basically reference right that is uh, the reference temperature. So, that will be equal to B m plus B 2 phi minus phi m whole square. So, uh, if you look at the data uh, which we have uh, so, uh, shown in the uh, last slide earlier that B m for propane right uh, is 34.22 plus maybe I will do one thing. <coughs> this is basically if you look at B m for propane is 34.22 right. So, that I will get 34.22 uh, then what is B2? B2 is equal to 138.65 that is minus 
138.65 and phi in this case it is 1.2 right 1.2 minus phi m is 1.08 this will be whole square and uh, then if you look at that is SL r would be 32.22 centimeter per second right. So, that is uh, coming uh, as 32.22 centimeter per second. Now, we will have to look at the at 800 Kelvin and what atmosphere pressure is it you are having some doubt. Minus I? E minus either here na bracket ma. Is not visible? This minus? Minus is not visible. Huh? Okay. So um, let us look at uh, this one uh, because we have seen that SL we will have to use now for the different pressure and temperature than the reference. So we will have to use SLR. Uh, no, no. SL is equal to SLR TU by TUR gamma and P by PR beta and 1 minus 2.1 YDL. Now, in this case, what is given the DL, YDL is 0, right? In this case, YDL is 0 and uh, that uh, P is equal to PR is equal to 1 atmosphere pressure. So, this will be 0, this will be 1. So, I am getting SLR. T u by T u r gamma right and I need to evaluate the gamma right. So, we can find out gamma is basically 2.18 minus 0 0.8 1.2 minus 1 and that is coming around 2.02 right. So, then what I will do uh, is basically SLR we know 32.22 into temperature is uh, Tu is 100 800 uh, Kelvin and this is 298 Kelvin right and gamma is 2.02 you will get 236.8 centimeter per second. So, this is my value that is SLR 900, uh, 800 Kelvin is basically 236.8 centimeter per second. This is my answer. So, let us look at C that is uh, corresponding to TU, right? This is TU is equal to 800 Kelvin and P is equal to 20 atmosphere pressure. So, we can find out SL basically uh, for this we need to find out beta right beta is basically uh, minus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.22 phi minus 1. So, uh, that will be uh, if you substitute this phi is equal to 1.2 you will get uh, minus 0 
right. So, the S L I can find out as S L R uh, T u by T u r gamma p by p r beta because y d l is 0. So, therefore, I can get this is 32.22 into 800 by 298 gamma is 2.02. .02 and uh, this is 20 by 1 that is beta is minus 0 0.116. So, that happens to be basically 167.29 centimeter per second. So, you can see that uh, if uh, the pressure is being increased the SL has been decreased as compared to the temperature effect. Why? Because the pressure is having negative effect. That means, the burning velocity decreases with increase in pressure. So, that effect is being nullified with the increase in this example. Right. So, that is the point you must appreciate out of this. <coughs> and uh, this is of course, SL at uh, 800 K and the pressure of 20 atmospheric pressure. So, uh, that is the thing I want to illustrate that you can use a semi empirical relationship uh, and then uh, calculate for your uh, design purposes and other things, but, uh, but this is limitation uh, this is limited uh, because of fact that this data has to be used very carefully. right? wherever it is uh, you know um, possible you will have to know uh, or in other words right uh, you will have to use this data uh, within the range given by the uh, you know experimental uh, process right uh, so that you will not go beyond the range for which this empirical relationship will be valid <coughs> i think stop over here and we will discuss the other thing in the next lecture ok. Thank you very much.